Hi, in this video, we're going to graph this piecewise function. We're going to find the domain and we're also going to find the range. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Solution. Start by drawing the y axis and also the x axis. So here's x and here's y. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this one first, the bottom piece. So whenever you have a less than or a greater than and you're graphing a piecewise function, initially when you're going through the process, you're gonna have a hole. Whenever you have this, you're gonna have, it's gonna be solid, it's gonna be a filled in hole, okay? So let's start with this one. So to find, um, we know that there's gonna be a hole at x equals negative one. But to find the y value of the hole, basically you take the negative one and you plug it in here. Now you're not supposed to do that, right? The technically, when you plug in negative one into this function, you're supposed to be looking here. So we're breaking the rules to find the hole. This is just a trick that always works. So I'm gonna put the negative one here. That gives us one. So we're gonna have a hole at negative one comma one. That's where our hole is gonna be. So if I go left one and up one, I have a little hole. And then the rest of the graph is valid for x bigger than negative one. So it's a parabola, right, x squared. So we know it hits zero and it comes up like this and it's gonna look like that. Okay, it's just, that's because it says x greater than negative one. So we know the rest of it's gonna be over here. Now we have to graph this one. This one's a little bit easier. So now we just plug in negative one to find the y value here. Let's do it. So that would be negative one plus two. So that's one. Oh, look at that. At negative one comma one, we have a solid dot. So we're actually filling in the hole now right, because of this, right, that, that doesn't always happen. It does happen sometimes though. As for the rest of this graph, we know it has a positive slope, so it's gonna look something like this, okay? And we just have to find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, you set it equal to zero. So we get x equals negative two. So it's gonna cross right here. And there's the graph. Okay, so, and we know to draw it this way because it's for x values less than or equal to negative one. That's why it doesn't go up like this. Also, if it went up like this, it wouldn't even be a function. It would fail the vertical line test. As far as the domain, domain, the domain is the set of all x values that will give you y values. So if I pick an x value here, I have a y value. Pick an x value here, I have a y value. Pick an x value, I have a y value. I can pick any x value here on the x-axis and it's going to give rise to some y value on this graph. Therefore, the domain is all real numbers. So negative infinity to infinity. As far as the range, the range is the possible y values. There's an arrow here going down that indicates that it goes down forever. So you have infinitely many y values down here. So it would be negative infinity. The arrow indicates that it goes up forever. So you have infinitely many y values going up, so to infinity. So that would be the domain and that would be the range. This is a nice example because it starts with the hole and you know the hole comes about from this and then the hole gets filled in. So it's a little bit interesting. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.